My name is Daniel Oladapo Oyebanjo, popularly called The Banj. My journey is and has been an inspiring and very interesting one. So let me inspire you by giving you an insight into my world, the ups and downs, the good, the not so good, and everything else. Huh. I'm the bunch or ski band like what Jamaican friends call me. Wait, this is the Coco Master with a new name, Capsuloma. The band was born on June 9, 1980 to a military dad and was expected to become a military man. I was going to join the army and um, then I lost my brother who was in NDA, Nigerian okay. Defense Academy. But you want to tell us about it? It was a plane crash. Wow. The only thing I picked when I was going back to school, because we only, the only mm. brothers to give us the message, myself, K-Switch and my sister, and I picked this harmonica. And I went back to school with the harmonica. And that's how I got into it. Oh yeah, tell me who discovered you. Tell me who discovered you. Cause you're the treasure I don't define. And if I find you, we go be you. Yes, man. Forever. Whenever. However. The weather. While working as a security guard in London, he met Don Jazzy and JJC. He soon became a part of the JJC and 419 squad. You can check my story. Up until today, you see it's just a sign of visible. I became the band, um, started here in the UK after being security to Gado. In 2004, the band and Don Jazzy left the squad and moved back to Nigeria. His mother, Florence Oyebanjo, was on hand to help them with accommodation, transportation and some financing. The band says his mom was a seed investor. She even paid for the video, Tungolo. By 2005, he had released his debut album, No Long Thing, performed his first major gig in London and started Mohit's record with Don Jazzy. The album also earned him his first Headies Award. At that same edition of the Headies, the band had one of his most iconic performances ever. Lagos, Nigeria is just that the water is oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> After the success of his debut album, he released the Rundown Funk You Up album in 2006. The lead single, Why Me, won him his first MTV Europe Music Award in 2007. That same year, they released the only Mohit's compilation album, Curriculum Vitae. And the winner is still sitting down on the lawn. In 2008, he released his third album, Entertainer, to critical acclaim. The album gave him his third Headies Award as Artist of the Year. If you are still sitting down, you are on the <laughs> In 2009, he debuted his all-female reality show, Coco Mansion, to find his ideal woman. I'm the man, just keep on like my Jamaican friends call me, or Capella, and I'm searching for the perfect Coco. Mama, you don't make me fall in love. That same year, he won the Artist of the Year at the MTV Africa Music Awards. The Brand! The Brand! 
A big thank you to our family, my mom, my dad, my whole team. More importantly, to the babylets and the cocolets and the mamalets. And the mobo goes to the band. The band will go on to win a ton of other awards and hit a lot of other milestones. But these didn't come without a good dose of controversies. It's not gonna be on a jet ski, it's gonna be on a face ski. Facebook ski. I be a it's not a lie. Everybody Google the band. It's not a lie. Everywhere you go, 